Are we really doing them? No. guess what it's going to be a two for today i'm going to include motivational monday from yesterday in this video because yesterday got so busy i didn't get to upload it so you're getting a two for what it is though what's up good morning to you it's motivational monday we ain't even gonna say nothing about the elephant in the room the camera or this lace front but a rock Good morning. Welcome to Chronicles of the Curvaceous and the Ambassador's Hour Motivational Monday. It's Motivational Monday. Happy New Year. Got my piece of cake nails on because 2021 is going to be a piece of cake. Let's go ahead and say our mantra for I know who I am and whom that I stand, whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ and this is the hour to recognize me. Honey, Minister Renata recorded on my camera yesterday for two seconds, which is our second dedicated video coming out for 2021. And she said, I'm so over it. She said, I'm so over it. Now she sees my frustration, but God is faithful. He even gave me a new camera. I just got to learn how to use it though. But I digress. This what I'm on today. She believes she could, so she did. My pink and white thumbs for 2020. You seen it in my unboxing video for my birthday. Better, uh, she almost got fired. Look at my cuff. Oh man, I promise you, she did like a little baby sippy cup. Have you ever seen a little kid playing? They drinking milk all over everywhere. Yes. She almost got fired before we got out of the door. Ambassadors, I love you guys. Let's say our golden text. God, entreat me not to leave thee, nor to depart from following after thee. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people will be my people, and your God shall be my God. Where you're buried, I'll be buried. And the Lord do it unto me if anything but death part me from you. That's what I say to you guys. Don't leave me and I'm not going to leave you. I may go on a sabbatical to work on my spirit to figure out what I'm going to be. Oh, this is my little necklace from Dr. Spencer. So I got on a pink um, turtleneck with some pronounced shoulder pads. And I got on some pink they kind of got a little bell bottom at the bottom, but not really. I mean, black. They're black um, spandex dress pants. So I'm on my grown woman today. I got on my black leather booties. I got my piece of cake nails, my deep side part, blunt bob. Yes, that's what I'm serving today. I'm going to put a picture in here. But today we're going to talk about the C word. The C word. It's motivational Monday. The C word is this commitment. Commitment. All of 2021, we will be talking about commitment. Whatever you put your mind to doing in 2021, if you one of them New Year resolution type people, you said you're gonna get in the gym. You said you're gonna read your word. Well, uh commit to it if you said it you gonna have to commit to it period poo period no matter what commitment we want our booze and bays to be loyal and all that good stuff but are we committed to the things of god are we committed to our fitness journey i just want to know i'm just trying to find out better off I digress. What it is though. What's up? Good morning to you. It's Motivational Monday. We ain't even gonna say nothing about the elephant in the room, the camera, or this lace front. But uh, 
Good morning. Welcome to Chronicles of the Curvaceous and the Ambassador's Hour Motivational Monday. It's Motivational Monday. Happy New Year. Got my piece of cake nails on because 2021 is going to be a piece of cake. Let's go ahead and say our mantra for I know who I am and whom that I stand whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ and this is the hour to recognize me. Honey, Minister Renata recorded on my camera yesterday for two seconds, which is our second dedicated video coming out for 2021. And she said, I'm so over it. She said, I'm so over it. Now she sees my frustration. But God is faithful. He didn't gave me a new camera. I just got to learn how to use it though. But I digress. This is what I'm on today. She believed she could, so she did. My pink and white thomas for 2020. You seen it in my unboxing video for my birthday. Better, uh, she almost got fired. Look at my cuff. Oh man. I promise you, she did like a little baby sippy cup. Have you ever seen a little kid playing they drinking milk all over everywhere? Yes. She almost got fired before we got out of the door. Ambassadors, I love you guys. Let's say our golden text. God, entreat me not to leave thee, nor to depart from following after thee. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people will be my people, and your God shall be my God. Where you're buried, I'll be buried. And the Lord do it unto me if anything but death part me from you. That's what I say to you guys. Don't leave me and I'm not going to leave you. I may go on a sabbatical to work on my spirit to figure out what I'm going to be. Oh, this is my little necklace from Dr. Spencer. So I got on a pink um, turtleneck with some pronounced shoulder pads. And I got on some pink they kind of got a little bell bottom at the bottom, but not really. I mean, black. They're black um, spandex dress pants. So I'm on my grown woman today. I got on my black leather booties. I got my piece of cake nails, my deep side part, blunt bob. Yes, that's what I'm serving today. I'm going to put a picture in here. But today we're going to talk about the C word. The C word. It's motivational Monday. The C word is this commitment. Commitment. All of 2021, we will be talking about commitment. Whatever you put your mind to do in 2021, if you one of them New Year resolution type people, you said you're gonna get in the gym. You said you're gonna read your word. Well, uh, commit to it. If you said it, you're going to have to commit to it. Period, Pooh. Period. No matter what. Commitment. We want our boos and bays to be loyal and all that good stuff. But are we committed to the things of God? Are we committed to our fitness journey? I just want to know. I'm just trying to find out. Better uh, I digress. Welcome back to Chronicles of the Curvaceous. You know we fabulous and tenacious. Dropping faith, faith, weight loss, motivation. Yay! Happy New Year! If you're new, hey honey, welcome to my channel. If you want the loyal 80, thanks for rocking with me the long way. It's your girl. I made it. And do not, do not, do not, do not come for me with this. I have not customized this wig yet. I've been watching videos, guys. I'm going to um, pluck it, pluck my part. Do all this, I'm gonna um, put some layers in it and put some curls in this thing. And so when you guys see me back with this week, oh, you're like, oh yeah, no, that's right. That's Queen Fabulosity. You see this empty chair right here? This empty chair right here. Before I tell you why, go on and click subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Yes! Welcome back to Chronicles of the Curvaceous. You know me, fabulous and tenacious. Dropping faith based weight loss motivation. If you're new, hey sis, hey bro, welcome to my channel. And if you're one of the loyal 80s, 
Thanks for rocking with me long way. Happy New Year, honey. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, the content is going to be binge worthy, honey. Do you see this empty chair? Me and my sister, we just had church over here. We was over here praising the Lord, and the Lord told us we got to eradicate the flesh, honey. So that the spirit of God can live. I'm so super duper, uber duper, 100% excited about what God's going to do in my life in 2021. I'm so excited. I came over here to let you know my top five. You already know what it is, honey. Transformation Tuesday, the first one of 2021. Supposedly featuring my boo and my sister. But uh, you'll find out what happens. Stay tuned to the end. We coming out here today for what? Let's talk about the five things I'm gonna leave God to do for me in 2021. Why you pick five, Queen Fabulous? Why you pick five? Because five is the number of grace, and God's grace is sufficient for us. Now, it's five things I'm believing God to do in my life in 2021. And I decided to come on here and share them with you today. So, these are going to be my weight loss goals. This is going to be my fitness goals. New Year's resolution. Are we really doing them? No. Focal point number one, walking in the spirit of excellence, God's way. Y'all know, I told you last year, 2020 was about consistency. And 2021 is about quality. So the very first thing I'm believing God to do in my life is to help me have a spirit of excellence with this technology, honey. Do you see? My lighting is so off, you can't even see this. So I'm believing that he's going to help me learn things. Even if I have to go back to school and take a class on... um editing and lighting and stuff like that. I want to be excellent in 2021. How about you? List the five things you believe you got to do in your life in 2021. I want the spirit of excellence. I want him to come in. I want him to be like, okay, yes. When she says she's going to do it, it, it's done. I want God to, you know, put me in a direction where everything I say I'm going to do, I do it, sis. When you plan you're going to post, you're going to post. When you say you're going to go to the gym, be in the gym. I want to be excellent. I want to operate in integrity. I want everything about me to be just like on fleek, on point, 100. Please believe me. That's what I want. And in order for me to have a spirit of excellence, I'm going to work on my spirit this year. I'm going to do a lot of soul working on my spirit, honey. And it's going to lead me to number two. Number two of Queen's five things for 2021 is this. No. No. I said no. What? No. No. Uh -uh. None. You need me to say it? I don't say it in, in French. You want me to say it in Spanish? No. No, no, my petite shoot. That's the only thing I remember from French. <laughs> Honey, I'm going to learn how to say no in 2021. No to anything that is not going to edify and build my spirit, anything that's going to cause me to have anxiety, anything that's going to cause me to be, you know, fretting, anything that's going to cause me to be out of the world. No, no. Anything that's going to cause me to get in debt. No. Anything that's going to cause agitation, frustration, aggravation, and all the extras. No. The word for the year for me is no. I'm going to learn how to say no because Matthew 5 38 says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. And I've been tripping on that. That's one scripture I have not kept. You know, crying because of the curvaceous is about faith, fitness, and fabulosity, honey. Yes. So number three. Focal point number three. Pretty awfully. Pretty, pretty awfully. Dressing with intentionality, honey. Okay, so first thing I said, I'm going to have a spirit of excellence. Thing number two is I'm going to learn how to say no. I'm really going to say no when I need to say no, because a lot of times I get emotional and I be like, oh, I want to do this and I want to make the mountains move and the earth quake. No, no. If I don't want to do it, I'm just going to simply say no. I don't, I don't owe you no explanation. I'm going to say no. I have a right and a privilege and the Lord Jesus Christ told me to say no. I'm going to say no. And I'm going to look good while I'm saying no. That's number three, baby. That's number three, baby. Every day except the day, I'm going to leave my house. 
looking like how I want to represent God in the earth. I'm going to be fabulous every day. Even if I only have five dresses and two skirts and three, I'm going to switch up those five dresses, switch up those pumps, up, switch up those blazers, and I'm going to be me. I don't want the family dollar. I got my nails, the ombre, honey. LA Colors, $3. I did my nails. I done slapped on this $24 wig, honey. I'ma customize it and pluck my part. And if I can't do a sewing, I throw on me a wig. I'ma do what I gotta do to look like I wanna look every day. Every day, sis. Every day. No, I don't got no baby hairs. These are senior citizen hairs. But I'ma look like I need to look. Please believe that with my dollar dress on. This dress costs a dollar from Dale's Outlet. Yes, but I feel good and I look good. Yes. Now this is the point of the vlog where Queen Fabulosity gets 38 hot. Yes, did I say 38 hot? 30 and 8 hot, honey. Where is my footage? I'm gonna need Betsy and Becky to act right. I don't know where my boo and my sis went. But this makes focal point number four just as important. Get organized, honey. You got these zip drives and stuff. We're going to get organized. We're going to put all of our content in cute little folders. We're going to know where stuff at. We're going to organize our life. We're going to organize our spirit. We're getting organized, honey. Focal point number four. Organization. Organization in 2021. Can we say organization? Organization. Focal point number five, strategic fitness and nutrition. And because this is so pertinent, my sister will be returning to the platform to re-record her component of this focal point for 2021, strategic fitness and nutrition plans. Look forward to her coming back soon. She's Renata C. Hashtag fitness queen. Hashtag she a runner. Hashtag my sister. Oh my. Did I really do that? And yes, this dollar cost of Video Chronicles of the Curvaceous. You know we fabulous and tenacious. Dropping fade face, weight loss motivation. I'm Asia Paris. <laughs> this is my sister. Renata McFadden. Yeah, baby. Honey, we got some guests on here today. My sister, my boo, <laughs> and Ari Poe. She right over there. Y'all can see her. Honey. Yes. And we gonna talk about the five things. Five things. Five things. Five things. Five things. Five things. We gon' change it. 2021. Yes. Okay. Now, you have endured my boo, my Ari, in the background, and my sister. Yes. And we have talked about Jesus. We yes. represented him. We're gonna do these five things. And I'm gonna say, no. 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 <laughs> we don't say no in 2021. And so we love you guys so much. If it's the Lord's will, we'll see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, embrace and enjoy your journey. Bye. Bye. Or just confident, high self-esteem Don't have to depend on the man to buy her thing She got her own job and got her own car and she ain't Hollywood, but I promise she's a star and yeah, she ain't in the drama. Subscribe. That's right. You know you liked it. Go ahead. Click subscribe.